Ahead of the G20 summit being hosted in India, the chief coordinator of India's G20 presidency, Harshavardhan Shringla, in fact reiterated that the country's commitment to inclusive global governance and its unwavering support for Global South. Now, in an exclusive chat with Vyond Siddhan Sibyl, Harshavardhan Shringla spoke about the preparations that are presently underway for the summit. Listen in to what was said. What are the preparations? It's just nine days to go and we know all throughout the year we hosted so many events across uh, uh, the country but now just few days left. Uh, uh, how does it feel and if you can talk about the preparations as well. Well, uh, if you are not seeing me very perturbed, it's because preparations for the G20 summit uh, started uh, well earlier, you know, probably one and a half years earlier. We were already looking at many of the um, uh, logistical and uh, other aspects uh, relating to the summit. So how do you organize a successful summit? Um, we have to keep in mind that we have never been president of the G20 before. This is the first time in our history that we would receive such a large number of heads of state and government of such important and influential uh, global players. So uh, how do we prepare for that uh, situation? How do we prepare uh, to ensure that uh, the arrangements uh, for such a critical event are uh, not only uh, conducive but of the, of the best uh, possible uh, manner. Uh, so these arrangements, as I said, have been uh, made well on time. Uh, right now we're looking at some of the finishing touches. Uh, there, is a, there has also been a great deal of coordination. So you mentioned about African Union. Now this is looking like a big substantive outcome from India's G20 presidency. How do you see India's focus essentially being putting Africa at the high table where we have seen at various organizations, including the UNSC, the absence of Africa? Well, we have always maintained that for global governance and for, the, uh, for international organizations to be successful in fulfilling their mandate, uh, they must be broadly representative of the realities of the 21st century. And, uh, and uh, certainly when we have uh, maintained that position, I think it is important for us to also uh, be able to practice it when possible. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the Prime Minister's proposal to G20 leaders to include African Union as a permanent invitee mm -hmm. uh, in the G20 process, mm -hmm. uh, I think is only reflective of our own position that has remained consistent over the years. Mm -hmm. And we do believe that the African Union uh, with its 54 members with tremendous potential for the future uh, has to be a part of any international governance process, starting with uh, an influential grouping uh, like the G20. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.